everybody. I'm Lightning Girl. You know how every superhero has a backstory? Well, here's mine. I was just an ordinary girl. Then, as I was riding my horse one day, I th there was a huge boom of thunder. It spooked my horse and I was stranded in the valley. Then, lightning struck two feet away from me. Because I was in such shock, I did all the wrong things to avoid it. I put dead tree branches around me to protect myself when I was supposed to move them away from me. Then, I called for help when you're supposed to stay away from cellular devices. Then I stood up instead of doing the right thing and squatting low to the ground. And to top it all off, I was under a tree! I did all of the wrong things, and you guessed it, I got struck by lightning. And now I'm Lightning Girl, dedicating my life to teaching kids about lightning. Okay, so we have a lot to talk about. I have my coffee. Are you guys ready? What is lightning? You see, lightning is a brilliant electric spark occurring within a thundercloud, between clouds, or even between a cloud and the ground. How lightning charges is streamers of energy come from things like trees or people's heads and meet the energy that comes from the clouds that are called step leaders. These step leaders come down from the clouds and when they meet the streamers and there, then there is a spark of electricity and there is lightning. That is also where it's saying that lightning comes from the ground up. And that is your quick definition of lightning. It's a beautiful day to fly. Nice air pressure. Not too windy? These are things that you need for lightning. First, let's talk about air pressure. For lightning, the pressure near the ground needs to be lower because the lower the air pressure, the warmer it is. Then, up in the clouds, there's a much, much higher air pressure. Now let's talk wind. The wind during a storm tends to pick up a lot of dust, which makes the wind very gusty. Now that we are blowing in the right direction, get it, because it, it's wind? Let's talk about air temperature. Air temperature cools with height, which also sort of means that the warm air is near the ground and the cold air is up in the sky. This makes the air very unstable, and unstable air is another key ingredient to light. Speaking of which, another key ingredient is humidity, and that means there's a lot of it. Those are the changes made in a lightning storm. Woohoo! This is fun! You know what else is fun? Fun facts. I'm gonna give you five fun facts about lightning. Why five? because it was part of the project. Fun fact number one. Unfortunately, thousands of people are struck by lightning each year. Fun fact number two. Lightning kills more people than tornadoes and hurricanes. Fun fact number three. Average, the average temperature of lightning is 20,000 Celsius. Fun fact number four. Lightning is an electrical charge coming from the sky. Fun fact number five. Astrophobia is fear of a thunderstorm and lightning. <laughs> Did you guys hear? 52 cows died at a ridge they found a bunch of carcasses next to a wire fence that was hit by lightning. Lightning doesn't just strike cows, it can also strike people. About 400 people get struck by lightning a year in the U.S. About 40 of those get killed. Not only are your chances pretty low of getting struck by lightning, but most people survive. The other major way lightning affects people is it causes fires, about 20,000 every year. Remember, to stay safe before lightning, close shades, unplug all appliances, and move dead tree branches. To safe, stay safe during the storm, stay away from windows, avoid using the phone, and stay away from faucets and squat low to the ground. After storm, be sure to stay away from damaged areas Help people who require special assistance, and if someone has been struck by lightning, call 911 immediately. I know I'm Lightning Girl, and you and your knowledge depend on me, but I don't know everything, so let's let the experts handle this. I recently interviewed Scott Mace, meteorologist from California. How do clouds generate lightning? A cloud is really either floating water, tiny little water droplets in the air, or ice. When they're really high in the sky, they're ice. When those, when those get energetic enough, when the wind blows those particles around together and they spin into each other, that's when they make that static electricity to make lightning. When do lightning storms occur most? In the United States, especially in Colorado, most thunderstorms occur during spring and summer, and that's because there's such a big temperature difference between the air masses or the air over that part of the country. Does humidity affect lightning, and if so, how? If there's higher humidity 
in the air. That means that there's more energy in the air and, and more possibility for little water droplets and the ice crystals to form. The more water droplets in the sky, the more clouds, and the better chance you would have a thunderstorm that would create lightning. The humidity goes up can produce more thunderstorms and lightning just because there's more water and energy in the air. It's been fun teaching you, but now I have to get out of here as fast as the speed of lightning, which, by the way, is the speed of light.